over and take a look what's happening out there. Clouds and radar and yes, we still have some rounds of rain, some sprinkles and showers, fog and clouds. Uh, the fog is not nearly as thick or as low to the ground as it was at this time yesterday, but we're still watching tonight probably some reduced visibilities within the next few hours. A couple of little sprinkles near Lower Providence. This is near Abington and then over toward Reading a couple of quick little bursts of some light rain. Also near LBI north of Atlantic City, although much of the Jersey Shore while cloudy, cool and gloomy is relatively dry. There's the cloud cover added on the map and you can see that we just don't have much in the way of any clear sky. And now that the sun is going down, we're likely not to have in the way of any clear sky for the next few hours, if not a few days. 68 is where we made it today. The average high is 74. Record was 89. That was set back in 1921. Nowhere near that. So let's break it down for you. It's Sunday. We're putting a cap on the weekend. Heading into the week ahead, looking at Monday. Gloomy, showers, foggy. Temperatures likely in the upper 60s to low 70s in the city. Let's talk about Tuesday and Wednesday. The showers gradually come to an end for Tuesday. Some sun returns late Wednesday with highs back in the 70s. And then as we head into Thursday and Friday, ah, so much better. Mostly sunny and warm. Highs on Thursday, Friday, 75 to 80 degrees. Right now, 64 degrees in the Reading areas, 70 in Wildwood. That's the warm spot. 63 in Allentown and 65 up toward Philadelphia. So our future cast taking a really good look at where we are now and where we're going to be for the next few hours. More of the same scattered showers. We get into the overnight and early morning hours and we'll bottom out with temperatures in the lower 60s. 61 to 62 across Philadelphia, 63 in Millville, Jersey Shore in the low to middle 60s. And then we get into the afternoon and once again, a couple of sprinkles, showers, a better chance the further west and south you go. Areas across Delaware likely to see a couple of quick little bursts of some light rain in the early morning. By Tuesday morning, still looking at the same, although Tuesday will give us one more chance for at least a few showers hours, maybe even a non severe rumble of thunder. And then we get into Wednesday and we finally start to clear things out and dry things up with some sun returning by the time we get into your Wednesday afternoon. So we peak on Tuesday with about a 40% chance of rain after Wednesday. It's full steam ahead to a much better end of the week and looking ahead next weekend. So tonight 61 degrees, clouds and fog, drizzle and a shower. Tomorrow we get into really just temperatures starting off in the low 60s and ending in the low 70s. Not much of a change, mainly cloudy skies. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Now things start to take a turn for Wednesday back up to 73. We're in the upper 70s to near 80 Thursday and Friday. We keep that sunshine around as we head into next weekend.